Yas, hey, Yas, 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 Wiz, hey, Chucks, with my in the studio. Coming to you live from the Breakfast List of WATI 88.9 is Drew, Randy, Aaron, and Kim Bill, and this is the Birds and the Bees. Birds and the Bees. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? The Birds and the Bees. It's so official now. The Birds and Bees. Oh, the mic is all turned down. That's not gonna work. <laughs> hey man, what y'all know what it is? Y'all listen to WHEI eighty eight point nine coming live from the bird. This is the birds and the bees. What's poppin' with y'all, man? What's up? What's going on? Uh, we chilling. I'm chilling right now. I'm chilling to the max. Oh, My chill, legs man. hurt. I've been working out too oh, hard. My legs hurt. I'm yeah, man, it's been a long right week. Right. I'm ready to go home for Easter already. For and, real. And it's only Wednesday. It's not a good sign. Uh, it's man's birthday tomorrow. Uh, it is, it is the man's birthday tomorrow, man. It's the man's birthday tomorrow. He's the only one here who's still 19, man. So <laughs> he's, a, he's a young boy. He'll be here in Tiffin this weekend. He's going to bring him a strong way out here in Tiffin and show him how to turn up. <laughs> Hopefully not. At least I know you're listening, man. Is this true or what? you going to leave this man out here in Tiffin? Yes. Strandy. That's crazy. There's no other choice. Nah, you gotta be able to break, embrace tipping, Randy. There's nothing wrong with it. That's you crazy. Got the, you got the tattoo on your back. <laughs> um, the area code? 419 Jones. Indeed, yes. I guess so. But uh, we chilling though. We got a couple topics coming to y'all. You know, everybody's real mellow right now. I'm gonna turn up in a little bit. But I'm just chilling right now. Yeah, we all chilling, man. Uh, what's on the Janessa gonna come through in a little bit, man? She, she, oh, she said she's not. She said she's not. Oh, she hit you up? She's long as I don't know. Oh, yeah. No, I was about to say, man. Yeah, she hit me up. She said she was still gonna come through, so. This is just not. Her show. Yeah, man. She said she's she she still gonna come through. She said she's still gonna come through. She said she's still gonna come Fly ombre out here. Oh man, we need to bring the man bread. Yeah, I yeah. think we do need to bring the man bread. He just won't play around like she would. <laughs> he made good points. He said, "People, he's like, man, people starting to know me by name. Yeah, I might as well just be the host." <laughs> that was silly. Yeah, man. might as well give him a shout out. He just had to, he had to run with him. Might as well. I'm talking about he a co-host from on, on the line though. Yeah, that's that's it. That's yeah, crazy. he stayed there the whole time with us during religion talk. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and he's on Twitter too though. Yeah. Twitter feedback is a lot. You know, I like to hear about uh, what people be talking about. People were scared to call in, so yeah, we need it all. You know, if you don't want to voice your opinion, hit us up on Twitter. You already know, yeah. So what? Come catch me. Hey, man, so 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 yeah, so we need it all, though, man. So I mean, yeah, y'all gonna tweet us, y'all might as well call me. Right, y'all play around. Y'all know y'all be sending texts yeah. to, to everybody, chiming in, letting know who's wrong and who's right. You know what I'm saying, just call in and express those opinions. Exactly. I used to do this whole thing. I used to send out this whole massive group text. Well, not group text, but send out like individual texts, like copy and paste. Right. Like, yeah, we on right now. We on 15 minutes. We don't do it. I don't do that no more. Y'all, y'all get it. <laughs> I don't do it no more. There's no point. I do my little Twitter and my Instagram thing, and that's it. <laughs> Shit, nobody know, man. The word is out there. We got we got followers, though, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it's nothing, though. I've been doing this for a minute. But no, we got some real good topics for y'all today. You don't want to tell him it's like third time you said it. Say it now. I ain't said it yet, man. It's my first he time. You know, that's his job. You know, he went out there and did a little preview. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got some <laughs> real good topics to do today. It was a uh, courtesy. Ice Everybody man. was playing around, man. Everybody had writer's block. Ice man. I would say because we just couldn't think of any topics, man. I had some good topics, man. They didn't want to use mine. No, I would have used that. <laughs> I would have used that. Everybody played around with it. Wait, Kendall talk is a little bit too controversial. No, this has been a bad no, show. At least, <laughs> at least not for the day. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody here plays crazy, man. We don't yeah. play crazy. They talk man. about, they want to talk about the real things that happen in life, but then when it comes down to it, they don't want to get up under the hot seat. That's the problem. Oh, he's, he's no, they don't want to get under the hot seat. No, everybody's scared of the hot seat here. They don't, the they don't want moms texting their phone and telling them what they're doing wrong oh, or oh, how they raised them the wrong way or oh. what they do. You know what I'm saying? They're scared of the hot seat. Is that what it is? That's what it, it seems like to me. Hey, we're scared, man. You might as well just... Let everybody know the topic then, bro. You just... Nah, man. We're going to go by the script. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to go by the script. Now, all right. So, Here we go. Courtesy of Kendall, we got the... Uh, He's not talking to me, man. I introduced this topic right now. Nah, we're going to go by the script. We can use my other topic, man. The one that y'all liked. Courtesy of Kendall, we got the topic. I said I, I said I would do the other one. We all said we could do it. Fine, man. No, we didn't say that my mom would be on my back. That's fine. We can nah, still do man. it. It's just not the time to discuss it, man. Can Randy introduce the topics that y'all put on the script? Everybody's excited. Yeah, they 
they are, man. The topic we have today is uh, the topic of whether or not you you want you would get a prenup um, in either situation, male or female. And um, off of that, we're just gonna talk about gender roles. And um, Juice could tell you a little bit more about that. <laughs> you all are tripping, man. But yeah, but all the topic, all the topic is gender roles. Man. <laughs> you got new yeah, man. Man. <laughs> all the topic of gender roles, man. I mean, it's just just, <laughs> just looking at late night chats. <laughs> right. Here. Looking at you know what what should be done between a male and a female, whether y'all are you know split the bills or you know who does this or should a man take care of this. I mean, it's just all you know like you know who does what, man, or like or do y'all. Split everything equal, man. So I mean, we gonna get into that a little later. See how y'all think. I mean, see what y'all think. You feel me? So that's what it is. Man, this guy sounds so sick, man. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's Ooh. what it is. Hey, well, yes. Yeah, <laughs> you need to take some radies. Is everybody, is everybody not sick in here, man? It was Kendall. Come on, tell me. Yeah, everybody sick. Nah, man. It was Kendall, man. We went down to Florida. We went down to the hot sun down there, and Kendall had this this. Snuffy nose. He, he did come back with the rest. Back, man. I was even working even working down there. Down there. I went down there with my shirt off every day, and I I just felt like the man. See, y'all over there are like, I need some Nyquil. <laughs> Somebody give me some Nyquil. This is my like for the past two days now, man. That's me. I just have no. He been whipping around the what? The top care. The top yeah. care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went the <laughs> Yeah, oh, crazy Nyquil. Just wasn't even. It wasn't even a real deal. Yeah, <laughs> I watched Avery chug it. Like he was he probably like he, was was like, like, crazy. Man, he took like half of the bottle of one. He probably did. And then, yeah. but the crazy thing was Nyquil. Was that with Nyquil? No. Yeah, he probably been knocked out with the Nyquil. Top care, you can take a little bit more serving. <laughs> top care. <laughs> top care, you can. Oh, top care. I've never even heard of top care. I, I, I wanted to day was nine ninety seven. I had to go for it. All right, y'all fooling though. We about to uh, go ahead and play a couple bangers for y'all, and then we're going to get into these topics. So, you know, we can get this uh, show started. Uh, somebody sign us out? Nope. It sure. won't even matter. Hey. Out of nowhere. But if I had to make a, if I had to make any kind of prediction, it'd probably be um during the summer. Probably about August, you know, get everybody ready for school. What's the album name? I can't read on it yet. <laughs> Not yet. Alright. Let's slide into it though. So uh oh, yeah, the topic is on uh like prenups, like how would you go about getting a prenup? Like how do you feel about the prenup, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, like how, everything about it. I want to know how you feel about prenups. Would you get one? Are you opposed to them? Do you feel like they're pointless or they need it? Let's get it. I want to start with the married man Randy. <laughs> I want to start with him because you're most likely the first person to get married. So no, I mean, no, he will like, be. No, oh, man, I don't man. feel like you need to. We need a prenup. I don't feel like we need that, man. Love yeah. based upon, man. That's just. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Is like the your your you make say I need a crazy amount of money. You can play the pay ball and you making millions of dollars. So so a million dollars is like or you said millions, is it millions of dollars? Million dollars would be your limit as far as you making millions of dollars for a contract, you're getting paid to to do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Making millions of dollars playing a sport or whatever, I feel like you can be able to get a, a prenup. Does it have to be through sports? 
It don't have to be. No, I'm saying if you can pay millions of dollars, I feel like that you can you can have a prenup. Yes. Like, what type of millions though? Like I'm saying, is two million? That's that's plural. Well, millions, millions, bro. I'm talking about if you got seven millions, B. If you got seven millions, people don't see a million dollars in their lives. I know. I mean, you right, right. look at people. So, okay, okay. Like, well, put up the put this. You talking about football money, baseball money, or basketball money? I'm I'm talking Either, about bro. I'm it talking just about doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm talking about it does matter. Why it gotta be all that type of money? Why Everybody can't know what money look like. It can't be hard work money for that to me. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessary to get a prenup. I'm saying a prenup. I I, I wouldn't even look. I wouldn't even think twice about it if somebody got it. If, if somebody get millions of dollars, yeah, go ahead and get a prenup, cuz. Cuz? Why are you using like? Because you know, like somebody. I'm, I'm talking great. about it. you, <laughs> myself. Yeah, yourself. You can say you are somebody. Millions of dollars. One million. If you get one million dollars. So he make a million. He makes a million dollars. He makes a million dollars. Because you always you come into millions. Like let's yeah, say you make one million. You got a million. He make a million a year. Yeah, let's say you make a million. You got a million. Make a million a year. He get married on the first. A million. All right, now let's. All right, well, let's say that you you don't make a million a year and you saved your bread up and you got a million dollars and you about to go marry your girl. Would you make her sign a prenup? I saved my bread up. Yeah, you're not making me you make a little something yeah. less, but you not you, not, not, you, you, didn't didn't just up, you didn't just meet your girl then, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't in the same way with the other situation. But no man, I feel like y'all built that situation together. And it's not a lot of bread coming into it. What if y'all didn't? You throwing a, a bunch of sen- sen- scenarios in your mind. Oh, what if y'all did like? What if y'all did like? Well, y'all didn't build, build, it, build it together. Like, what if you found there after you you was on the way to getting your millions? She hopped on the train. If she hopped on the train, yeah, man, might be in question now. I'll probably have to get that free money. She hopped on the bus. Okay, okay. that's all I want to know. Yeah, especially that's even more reason for me to be skeptical about her motives. So you if think I'm coming out of nowhere with this crazy bread? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So you think um, LeBron makes Savannah get a free money? Oh, probably so, bro. That's see, a lot. You see, Kobe so much money. Though? Kobe should have one. Hold on, but I'm saying that. Do you know how long him and Savannah? I didn't care there? less. Should so Kobe have gotten one or did he cheat? That's a lot of money, man. That's why. Well, yeah. I mean, he hit people. I mean, because it's, it's clauses within the prenup about that, though. So I mean, but he, I'm got, he that, whipped himself on. I'm it. saying that Brian and Savannah have been together since high school. Like, Love is cool enough. They have together. You have different motives when that True. money's in your face like that. Love is cool and all, but when that bread get there. People who make sure they're accurate. True. Names still together. Wow. Ain't no wrong with yeah. that. I mean, I feel that's that. beautiful. Let me, let me slide the mic, bro. You got it. I mean, I feel that because, I mean, she was there before it all. But at the same time, it's like, you got to take precautions, bro. I mean, like, I would definitely get one regardless if I was playing sports or if I was just, you know, you know if I had a good paying job or doing whatever. Like, you know, I'm getting one regardless. Like, I mean, it's the same thing when you think about <laughs> life insurance. Why do people get life insurance? They saying they trying to kill you in your sleep or something so they can cash out on your policy. So no matter what, you getting a prenup. Yep. <laughs> man. Can't even play around with it. My man just C- cut through, baby. securing his assets. Can't even play around with it. I mean, it's the same thing. Exactly. So so you just go ahead and just, you know. I mean, I still love her. I love you, know you know I love you, but before we get married, baby, we got to have a prenup on top. Hey, it, it is what it is. That's, man, I, I, hey. So let me so let me ask you this, okay? You don't want it. So let me ask all of this. So I wanted to be when I was younger, I wanted to be an anesthesiologist. What the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's an anesthesiologist, bro. You know, you Trust me. It sounds crazy, but you know exactly what it you is. You know you changed your major. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, but you know exactly what it is. It's people give you anesthesia before you go. Yeah, into that's it. I guess. And their job, it's like the highest paying job in the medical field. So you want to get people all drugged up? I mean, yeah, but I'm saying that it was the most. Well, when I was a little why kid, I saw it like why? because they got they make bread, like they make dumb, stupid bread. When did you make this decision? When I was when we was in reach, actually, For real? yeah, when we was in reach. Wow. Right I was about sixth around. grade. He seen that bread and said, "Yes, yeah, I'm gonna be asking." Yeah, it. but yeah, because they hold like a lot of like lives in their hand. But their salary, I, just, I looked it up on Google, um, is an annual salary of three hundred thousand dollars, and you can ex- and it says like in like the next couple years, you would expect to get a raise to up to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. That's a lot of money, man. Would you get a prenup then? Yes. <laughs> okay, we know his answer. I'm not gonna play around with it, man. Y'all go, go, y'all go and give y'all takes on it, bro. Me and Randy done spoke on it. <laughs> yeah, man, everybody, y'all over there laughing. Hey, bro, hey, tell me how you feel about it, bro. <laughs> man, 
I think it depends on like if you was in a LeBron situation, like you met, like you met in high school. I mean, you go and you, you can get your scenarios. Well, you, you can mean, get your, you can get the ones where you was making, you was, you was a million. Yeah, say you play okay. baseball. I'm tell you. Say you making baseball money, or yeah. say you were anesthesiologist. For those who don't know, Albert Pujols got signed for a twelve year, three hundred thirty million dollar joint, or whatever, and that was. Wasn't it three fifty? Three fifty. My bad. It was three fifty, and this was like his. This is maybe his life. Yeah. It was maybe his life. Yeah. This maybe his like eighth or ninth year, so we never count like his last contracts. So right. if it was that, and then I had grabbed Shorty, and, and then we got married. Yeah, we're definitely gonna prenup because that's a lot of braids that I worked for, and I know she's not gonna do anything but sit at home and sip wine and do her book clubs. So that's <laughs> that's what it's gonna be. Wow. But if she just wasn't wow. with me on the way, she wasn't with me on yeah, the field. She she so what? So why did I sit here and spend all my money with you? She bought me no gloves. So my when I had to study for my anesthesiologist job. <laughs> wow. you know, hold on, hold on. You know what's crazy? Do you know how long it takes to be an anesthesiologist? I'm wrong. That's long. another that's another fourteen years of school. Fourteen. After, 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 after your four, after your four graduate high school. After fourteen years. Hey man, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, bro. Yeah, going to school that long. You I can have it. it. Yeah, man. So but, saying, but but if I but if she grinded with me and we built the empire together. Then that's probably what I'm not. Saying, man. Probably not. It and if she got about like three of my kids, probably not. That's what it depends on. I mean, if she got kids, she can whoop you regardless. If you yeah. guys mm-hmm. see that, she gets hit you with that mm-hmm. child support. So that no, but, no, but, no, but I'm talking about like it would be different with me. Like if why, if we like grew together, we built the empire together. I feel like the woman mm-hmm. should really have a problem with it though. Like it, the, the rebuttal should be like, shouldn't be. Oh, you think I just hear you play your money? All right, I hear you, but prove it to me, like. All right, we're here now. I want to get a prenup. So just prove to me that you're loyal. I mean, that you're here for these reasons. And then another and thing, too, though. There's no reason to argue about it. Another thing, too, that could determine that is, like, if she got her own grind. Like, if she do her own thing, and she make her own money, and she got her own grind, like, that's what I'm saying. 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 Like, that's what I'm like then, I mean, I guess that's another factor. You can throw it in and be like, look, man, maybe she, she was on her grind before I met her or when I met her. Like, you know, she came into this relationship with Brett. Then I guess you could throw that factor in there. I mean, she might want to get a prenup then. You I was about know. to say, wouldn't then, she want to get a prenup from you? Yeah, would, would you sign, sign it? Or would you? I would have to respect it. Because, I mean, if I was in her position, I would probably do the same thing. You feel me? You or, maybe, or maybe we both in that position. So you saying like, she's looking out for ourselves. Say, but you're saying that she's like the breadwinner and she wants it? Not not necessarily the breadwinner. But she has nothing to bring to the table and she just wants a prenup. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again. That wouldn't even be a point. Yeah, say that again. I'm trying to say what I'm saying. I'm like, baby. Maybe you ain't got no money for me. That's what I'm saying. She's saying, like, if she's the breadwinner in this relationship, if she's the breadwinner, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. But I mean, because cause you would want her to do the same thing when you brought it to the table. You can't double standard to Yeah. Like, I myself, I will sign it. I'm saying, and my, y'all man, see, my ideal lifestyle, man, y'all might make fun of me, man, I, w- I want to be a trophy husband, man, y'all not hearing me, bro, <laughs> I will sit back at the crib all day and take care of the kids and watch ESPN. I will too, and I'll be, wow. and I'll, I and just I'll sit, don't care. I will How sit. does Alicia feel about that? Hey, man, we working on it. But look, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> look, if so you, I guess she will be giving you the prenup papers then to hey, sign man, it. I'll sign the name, man. man. You might as well just throw me them joints now. Or whatever, it don't matter. I'll sign them. And if I'm a trophy you. husband, whoever I'm, a, whoever I get married to, if I'm not doing nothing at the crib, I'll sign those papers. Give them. That just doesn't work out. What if she decides that she's tired of being lazy, she wants to leave you? Then you have nothing. You, you have no job. You got Nathan. You got Nathan. <laughs> you got Nathan. You got Nathan. You have to to the bum on the street. No, no, no. She's gonna know what my motives as soon as I get no, no, to it. Me and Randy, me and Randy different. <laughs> I couldn't be, I couldn't be like Randy. I couldn't be like no job, Randy, and just be chilling at home, and be a house husband. That's an See, ideal situation. You, but what if you like this though? But what if? Ideal. But what if? That's what not a dream job. What if it's not a job? What if it's not a job? Can I give a scenario? What job? Can I, can I give a scenario? Oh yeah, bro. So what if? So what if you guys were like this? So what if she was at work grinding all day because she had her own private practice and she was a lawyer and you guys were I don't know. Let's say you guys did Mike and Mike in the morning or Kendall and Juice in the morning and y'all did the all night radio show and came home chill for the rest of the day. Y'all also, make, also, like, make, Martin, also like Martin and Gina type. Yeah. Like Gina was at the little office, you know, doing her little uh 
you know, marketing and stuff like that. Yeah. He was on the he radio show. Cool. He just got one show in the morning, and that was it. What are you chilling? Would that still be? Would that still be considered like Randy? Not necessarily, because he got a man? job. You know, that's what he do. I don't know. I think Randy wants to sip Kool Aid in my. But you can still sip. You can still sip Kool Aid in my sports center. Cause Michael Mike in the mornings are like six in the morning. Mm-hmm. They're done by like eight. Right? You, you want to chill like Jody? I'm terrible for this. Terrible you want to chill like Jody? The idea of just he wants to chill. He wants to chill. Let me tell you how he turns twenty one. Just look. You just the worst. Let me know. Let me know. See, you you better just be lucky that you halfway married right now. Cause if you was out here, cause if you was out here looking for a woman, ain't nobody about to be like, man, I want I want this guy who's just sitting around. Like I'm just gonna take care of him. Like, girls don't want to baby nobody. You a grown man. This is true. I'm not how you're saying, like, when I have, when I go on or when I dated Alicia, I didn't go up to her on some, yeah, man, my goals in life, I really want to just be a trophy husband. I'm not really trying to. But you're insinuating it to her now, aren't you? Are you insinuating it to her now? Dude. (laughs) (laughs) Cards on the table. You making a great amount of money and you need somebody to take care of the kids at the crib. I'll definitely step up. We don't need a nanny. I'll be there. No babysitter, just no, Randy. So you wouldn't have a job? No, if it, no, that's a full time job. Wow, so taking you care of so kids, bad. taking care of the crib, cooking. So, 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 that's Super it. Hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you bring to the table. I'm cleaning, taking care of the kids, making sure they're right, on the right track. You know what I'm saying? And so I tell you, Randy, she's gonna leave with a white guy for, with with <laughs> ambition. <laughs> a white guy with ambition. <laughs> she wants. She wants that guy with ambition. I didn't know this, man. She wants the. I, I she, wants the she wants the Christian Gray with the. With the same you know this, man. Not, not, not the, 27, the 27 year old billionaire? Yeah. That's what she woman out here in the, in the he has, You got a new breed of women. Because she doesn't want to take she, care of us. You know, you know, you know what uh, Randy is? Maybe you don't want to take care of us. You know what Randy is? I don't you know this. I want you to call in and, and tell us how they feel about it. You know what Randy is? Randy would have to be at Bill. I like off of the what was her name, dude? Uh, <laughs> Alicia gonna bail him out of jail <laughs> all the time. Cause Randy got drunk and got to fight the bar because he had nothing to do with his life. Oh man, that's she crazy. Did. Wow. I really need I need some females to call. I do need some females. I'm about to I'm about to, you know, start asking people. Hey, <laughs> y'all know the number 419 448 2200 Y'all call in, man. We here. I'll be a trophy husband. Wow. That's just fine. I mean, yeah, hold on, lady. Yeah, ladies, do y'all got a problem with a dude being your trophy husband? Like, if he chilling at home taking care of the kid, I'll flip it, man. I mean, that's good. Do, do you do you gentlemen in this room have a problem with your girl being a trophy wife? Yeah, I do. I feel like we should both be putting in work. Listen, I feel like we should both be putting in work. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know what? I don't feel like you should yeah. be like chilling at the house, like just doing nothing. Like that, that just leads to lots of cheating and stuff, like stuff that you just don't need. Cause people, women get bored, man. Yeah. Men get bored. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That like that's you don't be at the house that's chilling. True. Yeah, hold you on, don't man. get to doing some stuff that you just not supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, hold on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah. too much out of time. You too much time. Yeah, yeah. That and it's deeper. And who can sit at the house all day and just do nothing? That's real. Housewives. But I'm saying though, it's no, real. I don't care how many kids. I don't, have that Avery. I don't, I don't care how many kids. But it's real. Have. But it's real deeper than that though. You still want a wife with some kind of ambition. Definitely though. If she, if she has no, if right, she, she got a baby, got a baby, she's doing nothing. Do. I mean, That's yeah, you can hold down the fort, but show me you can do something else other than that. You feel me? So now, so now she done married you with some money. Now she want to go be the next Serena Williams. Oh, man. Like she want to embark on different stuff every week. Like no. That's. I mean, I hear where y'all coming from too. You I definitely, I definitely agree that. Uh, my spouse, <laughs> but, but me, in my ideal relationship, I'm talking no. about the most ideal, bro. Perfect world. Randy has no job. He's sitting at the crib. Wow. I'm not, I'm not a lot of y'all. You know what? That is. I don't know. I was. That's just, real. I'm I would say it's real. So, so she put bread. So she put bread in your pockets. Yep. That is ridiculous. How is it ridiculous, bro? It's just ridiculous. You're just that idea. It just sounds hard, ridiculous. bro. I work hard up to this point. I want to relax. <laughs> why are you? Why are you in college then? What do you? What is your motive? 
my motive right now is to what get get a job it's not to get a job you want to sit at home what are you here why are you wasting money and i'm not wasting money bro oh what i'm doing is i'm setting myself up you're playing football i am playing football. that's what you're here for I'm you're here to play football to enjoy yeah. your years of football nah. you're, you're enjoying your youth while you have it and then you're gonna go and try to sit at home is what's your what? degree nah that's not what you plan on doing in an ideal world, yes, that would be, that's that, that would be what I'd be doing. <laughs> the thing is, you can't do that, though. It's not. Just, it, it, that's very true. In an ideal world, is that going to happen? Nah, nine times out of ten, neck. But, you know what I'm saying? Hey, nine times out of ten, why can't I dream? Happen. Why can't I dream? It probably could happen. It probably could, man. It probably could happen. Battle plan is so crazy. Oh, it's definitely possible. I know plenty of people. I can't live, I can't live with my wife and girl here and meet you. No, I never said that. We saying like and there's on back over there, man. Y'all both on my back. I'm just on your back because you're in college and you want What's to. What's wrong with that? It's like you're you're working to get a degree to make money, but then I got wanna... those, bro. But you know what I'm saying like I would have no problem chilling. Wow. I don't know, man. I got those. I got eyes crazy. Don't get me wrong. I know that. I would have. I have no. I know what you're for. I figured it out. See, I took some time and I just deliberated it to myself. I, I, I figured it out, y'all. Randy County here to Heidelberg University out of, out of all places <laughs> to find the one girl, you know, the one dad that, you know, that created, like, who knows, I don't know, like, chapstick or something like that. <laughs> He's what have made her. Yep. And got to be the one. I'm heir to a throne, and I'm just going to heir to the throne. Heir to the throne. Yeah, that's what I'm looking yeah, for. You better stop playing around for you whipped around. But, uh, I don't know, I'm looking at this stuff, man. I'm trying to just have it. Man, you're man. 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 But, uh, man. I don't know, man. Shut up, man. Because I just don't see, I don't feel like women really like doing that, you know. Because even my mom said, you know, when you and your brother get old enough, I'm just not going to be taking care of no grown men. Get up out of here. You're going to have to get yeah. up out of here. Either you're going to go to college get or you're going to get a job yeah. and get your own house or whatever. But I'm just not taking care of a grown man. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll get a throw. Yeah. Nobody, nobody wants to do that. So it happens, man. It happens on the flip side. Uh, oh, the only reason why. Oh, I, I mean, hold on, Randy. Can you get Alicia to call in and tell us about how she feels about this? I think that's what we need. I, I want Alicia. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. You know, you you get Alicia to call in and, and tell us how she feels about this. You know, we can actually call her. Uh, can we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about we make a phone call for the first time ever in life? Yeah, this is very. This we is the first time we made the call. We need to. We, we never done it before. We've never done it. We want to know how his girl feels. You want to know how she feels. Yeah, wow. All I'm saying is, on the flip side and vice versa, it happens all the time with men and women, or with men or women being attracted. I just want to see why it can happen with men. And I want to start the trend. Keep talking, man. You want to start the trend? I want to start the trend. Everybody's playing around. Everybody's scared to step up. Wow. I'll be the spoke person. But I'm still he saying, saying we scared to step up. Step up to the plate and be a chill person. <laughs> step up to the plate and you sit on the couch. Wow. Can you do that for me, man? Wow. Man. Can you chill and watch ESPN, dog? I don't know, bro. I don't can know you, if I if can. I you make can sandwiches it. and take care of the crib and take care of the kids? I, I don't know. Just shepherd the crib. I just still feel like. Hey, wow. Can you do that for me, man? That's all I'm asking. You look like you would get tired sitting around? You might, man. You yeah, might, but you work. pick up a hobby. You know what I'm saying? I watch Desperate Housewives. They crochet. They go to tennis courses. They do yoga. <laughs> I'm going to pick up a, a hobby like that. You going to play golf? How do you like my fish golf? And they have affairs. And they have affairs. And they have affairs. We are going to be retired. We're going to go, go ahead and go in the break. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Randy's <laughs> really <laughs> He is straight oh, ridiculous. We go. Go to the break first and then get a leash on. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna we gonna be right back, man. I, we still we gonna stay on this for a little bit though, man. Cause we all in the gender roles and the trophy husband. We need y'all to call in. We oh, need yeah, some response. Play my song. Hey, man, what you doing, bro? I mean, it's all good though. We'll mm -hmm. be right back. Birds in the beat. What's poppin'? This juice. Randy, Avery, and Kendall. Be sure to listen to our show, The Birds and the Bees. Live Mondays and Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. You know we're talking about everything your mama left out. Now let's get back to these bangers we got for y'all right now on WHEI 88.9. Yeah! Hey. Yo, 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 we back, we back. Hey, guys. And we got Vanessa here. Vanessa, I'm cool. 
She been playing she all, all day. She been pulling up on you. Lounger. Yeah, but she pulled up on you. Over the break that we had, we had a couple of calls. Yeah, we had a couple of calls, man. So y'all go ahead and call in. And we need all the input. Go ahead. Call in with this topic is smacking for real. So I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, we go ahead and call back in and uh. Tell us what y'all were saying about it, how y'all felt about it. Everybody come back. I, I want Janessa to tell me how she feels about it. Go ahead, about the whole trophy has no trophy life type thing. This wasn't even one of our topics. It wasn't. It just really just turning that way. Trophy. Well, Randy, I kind of, like I said, I backed you up. Oh, okay, never mind. No, you didn't, Janessa. No, you didn't. Birds and the bees, what's going on? No, well. What's up? What's up? So he plays no more generals, and you would be a trophy husband as well. I mean, you know, those are the kind of circumstances that you gotta consider. If if my girl, if she got a, if she got a hundred thousand dollars a year job, right? Right. Right. And if you don't run with the kids, I ain't gonna trust with anybody. You feel me? To to watch my kids, though. If she got the shit, and and the circumstances say. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Nah, nah. All right, no, nah, that's cool. It's cool. I like the reason. <laughs> so, uh. Don't think so. My female right now, don't think it's still for me. I'm going to continue to do. Yeah, back in the day, they had to find the husband to defend the husband. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, it's just like that. Yeah, that's true. 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 That's if it was vice versa, would you do all the uh, working and uh, have her, you know, chill in the house? I mean, it's just a chance to have a second stand. If we got a kid, if we got a kid, that's a career, then you know, I wouldn't mind going out and getting it. But if, if she's just doing nothing, and we ain't got no kids, but now we, we got to work with it, come to the table, it's a 50-50 split in the relationship. Okay, okay, okay. See, my man shed a light, man. The only thing is that, that men have all the control in the relationship. See, they have to be a level of compromise from medium. So. Okay, okay. No, I see. You're doing it for the split. Yeah, I feel I feel him on the split. Okay, okay. It makes sense. It I makes mean, that's how I thought yeah. about it. All right, uh, thanks for calling in and giving us your opinion. Yes, yeah, sure. Thanks, bro. See, man, everybody was on my back for so long. But he's somebody who came I in mean, the yeah, yeah, I was saying the same thing. thing. No, the but Taz was more, Taz was more situational. Was Yours was more like, I'm going to do it just to do it. Yeah, 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 I just want to be there. You know what I'm saying? Over yeah. there? Yes. Okay, yeah. So that's my... What else? Hi. I'm going to do it with Taz. Never mind. Uh, it was... Uh, yeah, at least... Oh, my part. This might be Taz. Shout out to Bud Brother Gowdy. I'm turning up this. Shout out to Taz. What's happening? Birds in the bee. I just got a quick question, like, where's the ambition at? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. It was like, yeah, she made a hundred grand, okay, so that means you're limiting your household to a hundred grand. As a man who's great ambition, if my wife has a job where she's making one, two, three, four, five hundred grand, I'm still trying to go get some work, so our pot is bigger. Definitely, bro, definitely. That's all I had, though. I <laughs> That's all I had. Good luck, bro. That's all I, have. I mean, then on the thing, on the subject of like, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, like Galladay called in and said, man, like, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with, you know, female, you know, independent women. You know, I, I applaud that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want you to be on your own. You don't want no bum. Exactly. I don't want no scrub either. You feel me? But it's, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, we both got to, we both got to eat. So, I mean, the more you got, the more I got, the more we got together. Mm-hmm. And it all just worked out like that. Oh, so it is now, man. Birds and bees is wild. Hey, man, I agree with the last dude who just called in. I feel as though I've just failed as a father to TJ. Wow. He feels like he can be the house mom and stay at home and watch the kids. Oh, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> Why is that the house mom role, bro? Why are you being stereotypical? Mm. You know you have a woman in the house. You're not in college, sir. Just stay at home and watch the kids. That's okay. not that's not what you said. You said yeah. the house, Mom. Whoa. And you know you have a woman in the room, right? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to college to sit in the house and watch the kids. 
questions were was I'm not going to do anything in the crib no I was going to take care of the kids and all this other stuff carrying on but I mentioned that I, are you guys right I'm, I am going to have a degree I want to have all these certain things like I'll be able to teach my kids the things things like I'll be able to you, just, you, even said, you can even homeschool the kids I'll homeschool the kids if I need to oh, no, man. I'll I, still I spend mean, extra time to get my master's, master's degree yeah. I'll take care of the kids I'll go back to school and get my master's and I'll homeschool the children. But what do you mean? No, 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 I know what goes into a household. I know what it takes uh, 
sitting down and knocking out your bills, buying groceries, cleaning up. The only thing I don't have is children. So to come and leave their body from child who's still living at home, I'm not having it. And it's just like, I understand what he's saying. Kind of, not really, I'm not going to lie to you. But, um, no, like, you have to get your own. Don't say that someone has to be at home. There are plenty of families that work without people being at home. That's what school is for. That's what you know, social is for. And so that people can go to work and not have excuses to sit at home. Like, I have to stay at home because we have kids. No, you don't. Your kids have an education for the which is they should be at school and playing a sport and being active and not sitting around in the house with you anyway because that's what you're doing wrong with our society. Yes. Yeah, you know, hey, that's definitely yeah, a good point though. Like, good my point. kids got to go to school and have the experience and all of that. Like, I they, think Randy was more into homeschooling and stuff like that. That's what it sounds like. Did he say homeschooling? Is that what you were about? If I, if and that guy might be both brothers. Yeah, I, I think they are. are. But brothers. Yeah. If I needed to take the road, if I, I needed to be a household right, teacher for my kids, I would. So we're taking, but we're saying, take okay, okay, but what do you not? Not even you can afford a, a, a private school. But when you, what's that private? You know, what do you say? What about public? It's good private school. Oh, yeah. Depends on where you live in that. Depends on where you live in that. Depends on what lot you live in. People that are saving is people that are going to go to the John Adams. Ain't not getting that same that same education. Tell them, John Adams. If you got to go there, maybe both of y'all should have a job. Yeah, really. Can you say some private school? They should both have you just have a job. Where's the beef? Whatever. That's the media. That's just the media. That's 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 the media. seen a little few like that besides me and Randy. But uh <laughs> yeah. that's uh that is funny man. Hey was well, somebody gonna find his Twitter name and tweet it in with, with Ombre man. Yeah, yeah they'll be a million on night on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they love each other. Let's not do it. Let's just not do that. <laughs> Save everyone else. But uh you know Randy was on our back right before uh, they uh called in he was saying uh now everyone's quiet and uh all the <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I want to, you know, I had to go to the bathroom for a minute. I had to go to the bathroom for Yeah, all right, all right, bet. I had to go to the bathroom I mean, for a minute. I didn't really I mean, hear it, all the guys. It's both sides. You but, uh, you know, the way God that came at it was at a different perspective on some, I want to take care of my kids. What uh, did you say? No, also, I... It would, I would do it just be so my my wife would could make the money and I would take care of my kids because like I didn't want them to be with anyone else. You came at it on a I want to chill at the house watch ESPN and just be with the kids. Uh, uh, I'm looking at it from a real perspective, bro. Like, no, 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 see, Randy's was more well. I want to chill at home and watch ESPN and drink. I mean, drink Kool Aid. And if I had to take care of the kids, then I will. <laughs> if I had, oh, this is what I said the entire time, bro. I be, I'm not gonna be lounging around the crib all day. I said I fulfilled my duties as a father. But everybody else is him. But everybody else is him, bro. Because as a father, if you're at a job, you're, you have disadvantages. You're not able to see him all the time, and you just you're not able to see him all the time, and, you're, and you can't father them the way you really want to. When you have no other duties. But that job at home, you don't have no choice but to take oh, care wow. of them. Take care of them. Wow. Just like that. Yeah. <coughs> oh, take uh, for my saliva and everything. Everybody get yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody's a fool. And, uh, here we go. All right, I understand every. I understand this the two points, the two sides. I still can't be that guy at the house chilling, you know. 
They're like, yeah. like uh, I'm at a good bro. point. You know what I'm saying? They're, they need to go to preschool and in the kindergarten and then through. Yeah, I ain't never. I, I would never be about homeschooling my like, kids though, man. They gotta get that experience. Why? They gotta learn how to yeah, interact. Yeah, it's real life. Right. They gotta learn how to interact. I said I was four. I'm not gonna send my. If I had to, but you guys are not. I'm not. This is not yeah, what I'm doing off top. Right, you know, what's going on? Yeah, we're tripping, man. Big Mike, what up? Big Mike, what's going on? Let's tag me anything. As a, as a father, all of you in that room and my father, none of them stayed home and homeschooled us or anything like that. There was no daycare at my house. My father just went out. What's your father about? Pick me up. Oh, I was going to say something so racist. All right, so. With the people, with the people, can I talk, can I talk? Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, you gotta talk, Mike. Joe. You, you, Joe. Some of us, you know, you just wanna switch roles. You don't wanna do a job. You just wanna go down and not be a man. You don't wanna be a man. You don't wanna be a man. You don't wanna be a man. Okay, if you're writing, if you're writing too, that's great. That's great. But you are the provider. You are not the provider. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, my, 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 this is a good point. I, I heard him say, he said, um, your father didn't do it, so why do you have to do it or whatever? Well, right, now with the people in this room, at the, I heard a couple of people say their father were in their lives. Now, that being the case, that would make it even, even an even stronger point for me to want to be in that household role and be in my children's lives the best way I possibly can. And the best way I possibly can to do that with no interruptions would be for me to be at the crib taking care of him yeah. 24-7. Well, I, okay, I let me show you. I guess to defend you, I'm going to speak on that. Somebody speak on that point. If your dad jumped off the building, would you do the same thing? Like, stuff like that. It's no. kind of like, goes in. I think it's no. goes hand in hand. Granted, I'm bad at Look, man. I sat up here. Just because your father doesn't mean you have to follow in his footsteps. You want to go first or shall I? Go ahead. So... When it when it when it comes out to it, what are you not even teaching your son? What are you teaching your kids? You you teach your kids to go live off of somebody else and what and, and what they're doing. Nah, bro. It's it's not not me. No, 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 no. It's me. Can I talk? Can I can I talk? Really? I don't think you can talk. Can I talk? I I'm, sure. I, I'm not even gonna just start right now. Yeah. Might as well just take the show. Go ahead, Randy. You might be talking to you. Go ahead, sit you on man. Go ahead, man. What I'm saying is, is that what are you teaching your kids? Because of the fact that both of y'all parents are not out here. And you never tried to get a job. You never tried to do anything. You just assumed this role. You didn't do anything at all. So, you, so you're teaching your kids that, that they can just sit up here and lay around and lounge around and have somebody else do all the work for them rather than them doing something for the, for themselves. That's what, you, that's what you're teaching. If my father was to do that right now, which he wasn't with me, but if he was to do what you said he was going to do, you know, that if he was to do what you said that you were going to do, then that's how I would see that as well. Right. And let's take a call for Did you not see it like that? Birds and the bees, what's going on? You're out of here, Mike. You're good, man. You're out of here. Thank you, man. Nobody said it. I'm trying to be a take that role of me being in their lives 24 <laughs> 7 than me not being in their lives at all which one would you have, rather have mike hey yo everybody in this morning everybody don't slide the mic to me man slide you don't slide the mic to me why the hell am i being in there that's your vagina that's your vagina you don't want two moms hey yo 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 all right hold on hold on hold on hold on all right so what i'm saying is everybody here going crazy hey everybody's back you know my bad hey but what i'm saying is you don't you don't have to be at the crib twenty four seven to be in your child's life. You as long as you in there, you, I mean, like you can still you know spend time with your kid. Like I was saying earlier, man, you know spending time going places and playing going basketball and, and right going to the park doing whatever, man. It's so much stuff you, that you can do. It's so much stuff that many you know young black men have missed out on without their fathers in their lives <laughs> because they didn't have that man to be there, you know, to teach them things and to teach them how to go through certain situations. Like it's just a, it's it's a whole it's so much. 
that you don't that you can do by just having a presence in your child's life. Like it ain't about just being there twenty four seven. You showing them how to, you know, if they if they see you work and grind and you know you making money, you treating your wife right, you treating you you treat her with respect, they gonna learn how to treat their woman. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be an example for your kids. It's not necessarily you you leading by by example. So once you show your kids how to act, they'll you know they'll follow. You know what I'm saying? Like it not like and that's by being in that, that's just like, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's that's being in their life. And kids like that, like you sit up here and you want to homeschool and them see me an example like that. Those are the kids that want to stay in the house for the rest of their lives. Those are the kids that want to come to be 24 still in the house. Those are the ones that become obese. So because you know, <laughs> means that you're just going to no, like I, no, I mean, no, I mean the point. <laughs> I'm talking about the point of the example that you're putting forth. The point that you can sit up here and do whatever you want and relax and chill up with somebody else's salary. That's what I'm talking about. You're not chilling. Birds and the bees was having that chilling. Well, for a reason, you got to look at the time period if you're thinking about being an uh, uh, April winner and mom. This is April winner and mom. This is April winner and mom. Oh my God. This is April winner and mom. Oh my God. Because it was already established that Randy wanted to do this for the rest of his life. That's why April winner and mom. I'm going to say 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 April winner and mom. need like you know 24 7 attention yeah. whatever that's cool about you know trophy husband now when they're in like you know grade school and stuff that's when it's like eh like you kind of they, they don't you need to be like a nine to nine to three kind of job or whatever and just i don't know but that's where i, I disagree with you on that one there we go hey thanks for calling me in the servant randy I right, look for this man. <laughs> hey, I'm still weak at the. He called him an apron wearing mother. Exactly. Yes. 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 I was done. You know what I'm saying? I was literally done with the whole conversation. As <laughs> <laughs> he said, that I was just, it was over it for me, man. He was talking about an apron wearing mother, and, and I knew Randy Ross at that point. He was, that was his only supporter as a man. Or, yeah, that was his only supporter as a man, and he lost him. So, uh, that's hilarious, man. So, let me, so, so hypothetically, let me ask everybody else a question here. For um, the ones who didn't grow without our father, um, me and Kendall, I can say that right now, our moms didn't sit up here and allow anybody else to, to give them anything, to buy groceries for them, to to put clothes on our backs, to cook us food that night, to do all that. So she was a stay-at-home mom, and she was still going out to get her own bread. What example does that set? A great one. Okay. So what would it uh, set if she was still... So what would it say that she was still sitting here at home and waiting on somebody else to give her money? If she was waiting. Her if she was waiting on the man to come yeah. take care of y'all. Yeah. What example would that say? Because I'm because I'm flipping it now. What so you mean? what example would that say as a woman if she's waiting on somebody else to come and bring her food and bring her money and bring her this that, and the third so she can go take care of the rest of the house? You might say the same thing. And do womanly duties. It, that's how everybody else is saying it. So what example would that cause? What example would y'all see based upon that? People might say the same things. You, you're selfish. You don't want to work or anything. You're just trying to live off the man. See, but so when, wait. so when, it, so when it's a woman, it's, it's the same bad. thing. You guys are telling me that I'm gonna repeating you guys is what you guys I are guess, telling me. Avery, I definitely see where you're coming, but my only thing is that like, just because, you know, say in that circumstance, if they were lazy or whatever, that doesn't give you like, and that doesn't mean you're gonna be lazy and stuff like that either. There's parents who are grade A parents that go out there, work hard for their kids, da da da, and then end up being serial killers. Like, it, there's, 
I don't know. There's just I, it's not important. You talking about serial killers? No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. What are we talking about? I'm saying. Hold on. I'm saying. We just the way, way on top of it. Not, I'm saying just not necessarily the way pa- or like parents raise their kids is how their kids are gonna act in later life. I mean, I feel, I mean, because I've I, I been there too, though. Like, my pops wasn't always in the house. Like, so, I mean. Like, right, you're it, still so, a great man. So, my mom, like, I, I know how my mom brought it and, and what she did to get her business. Like, she didn't always have a business. I mean, like, she, she became what she is today from grinding. Like, what it, like, she stuck, like, I don't know where we would be if she sat, sat there and waited for somebody to, like, help us. I guess it kind of, it, it kind of teaches me you, her, you feel me? In, my, in my opinion, I guess it kind of teaches you that, like, it almost teaches you what not to do. So if you did have that lazy parent who didn't go out and do anything, then it kind of shows you, okay, do I want to be stuck in this situation? Okay, right. Yeah, when exactly. I, I mean, you got to. Yeah. I guess that's what you I'm saying. Exactly. I mean, you got those two negative examples of what not to do. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, either way, you learn from your parents. Yeah. Whether it's positive or negative. Exactly. So I mean, okay, I feel that. I feel that. I'm still on. <laughs> oh no! This man, it's been crazy. It's about time we just. Need to we go ahead and get break. into the money. Yeah. All right, we need to catch oh, the what? A quick break. Smash the what? Wow. The what? I'm just gonna get into the into the break, man. So I'm gonna get into it. The what? Oh, it just came so savage, man. I was just just a savage on the move. The what? You know what? Everybody's on Janessa's back right now, but uh. Yeah, we're gonna go into uh, <laughs> to the break until somebody I'm calls sure in. Chris just agreed. Hey, I'm gonna get, get your uh, bonus right now. Oh, yeah, man, it's Wordplay Wednesday. Wordplay Wednesday. We, we didn't gotta get get the booth, man. It's Holy what? Avery, don't play around. It's you know not It's not pretty I'm playing holiday, man. Dude, I need something out of you, bro. Wow. Wow. Give me something, man. You got, wow. you got 15 minutes, bro. We need it. We're about to slide into the break, play the break, man. Sit and get some bars in there and see what we can do. All right. What's up, everybody? Y'all tuned in to the Birds and the Bees live from Heidelberg University on WHEI 88.9. like five times. Yeah. But, yeah, we back in here, man. So it's Wordplay Wednesday. I know y'all out there got the bars ready, man. We had some we had some people calling in already, man. So they was they was hyped. So what? So what y'all want to do? Y'all want to have the callers come in first? Yeah, they can call in yeah, Let's have them call through. Go ahead and call through. Yeah, we back online. Give us them bars. Y'all know what it is. Hit the phone lines. 419-448-2200 if y'all ain't got it already. Yes, call in and let us know. Let us know what's going on. Galladay, bro, we need them. Where you at? I'm Brett. I, I know I'm Brett coming through. He ain't, he ain't never like it. <laughs> we need them bars to come through. We got a call in. Let's Let's see who it is. Yo, what up? Wordplay Wednesday, what's happening? Oh, you, 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 you have to wait my neck. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yo, my dad played ball. My mom played weed. I still ain't here. I stand. Tell me what you need. I try to take a half a tank. Somebody call it greed. I know it's going to get worse when Jeanette is out that seat. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, 
Oh, he oh, turned up. Okay. Oh my he God. Was talk, he was taking a charge too. I was hit. I was listening. It's live. It's going. Who's next? Who who's our next call? <laughs> and my mom said, "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> Birds and the bees. What's happening? No. <laughs> Go ahead, turn up, bro. Uh, this is about uh, people been coming at me trying to give me the sale on my writing a lot lately, and I'm just not really into that. Um, deny my truth like Peter, and you may suffer like Jesus, but without his cause or for his reasons. Understand somewhere in someone's journal stands a society with no sirens and doors without locks. You see, somewhere is not here. Here is where the amount of time in which the door is unlocked is equivalent to half a second faster than it takes to get inside to make sure that there's no one in between. Even though you may hear long stop silence day and night, they are best delayed at half hour too late to even be too late, right on time, for yet another to never awake. See here, here is what they speak of. Here is where the blow up occurs, where an immovable object meets an unstoppable force takes place here is where the tremendous, tremendous pressure makes instant values of my thoughts. So often I contemplate selling out, oops, I mean cashing out on these <laughs> diamonds. But the righteous youth in me says to cash out is what they want, so to cash out is to sell out. And I got in this situation from my ancestors who sold out to save themselves and being foolish got sold out as slaves themselves as well. So when they ask me if, there's a, if these diamonds have a price, I think sell out and say, hell no, there is no price for me being responsible for my people selling out price, priceless. Wow. Oh, oh man. Hey, oh, man. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, man. Priceless. Hey. He was high. Priceless. He said, somewhere is not here. Who makes me? All right, bro. Good oh, luck, man. Right. Easy, man. Wow. Somewhere he never ceases to disappoint. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Yeah, that was crazy. I he, think we might have started something new, man. He never ceases to wow. He can't really go today, but brother Andre. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> something new, man. Yeah, no. Where's the bees? It's taking off. <laughs> so, so few. By the way, my mom's like the uh, poem, Andre. All right, uh, who's next? You gonna uh, grab it, Randy? Thank you. I'm calling in there, bro. I don't want him. I'm saying you got to oh, call him in a minute. He's running there from Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, he, he love it, man. He wow. was running in from Walmart. So tell me somebody go. He's about to call in. Hello. 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 Uh, we 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 talked that we, we first brought it in with talking about prenups and then we spoke about how Randy wanted to be the trophy husband and oh, whether yeah. that was right or wrong or oh, yeah. who liked it and it, how boy. women and men felt about it. Yeah. Um, a little bit, you know. This topic ran the whole time actually, so it was a little, it was nice that we had a little feud going on and everything. Yeah, I heard today. Uh, we just had uh, two people calling, one black, one poem. Uh, anybody else? Yeah, we waiting on you to call. Oh, all right. Oh, I thought y'all was about to close. I thought y'all show over here, too. Yeah, it is. We're trying to stretch it just for you, boy. Oh, all right. Well, all right. Yeah, I'm about to, uh, this poem I'm about to, uh, the poem I'm about to spit is, uh, it's for my girlfriend, but I didn't, uh, I didn't read it to her yet. And, um, you know, for everybody that's listening, trying to listen closely, because I know most of my lives is on those people's head, like, all of them. So, I'm going to try to, you know, uh, how to get the real reason to keep it going to start with that. We ready? I'm proud of you. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Alright. When I look at you, what do I see? Like the long source that puts you to sleep. This can get deep. There's nothing shallow about your surface. I'll put you in a sense and make you the period next to the word that almost describes. That means you're the closest thing in person. From inside this back where it's been off service, girl, you deserve it. But if you haven't had the second guess, it's worth it. Anytime your phone rings, you know that's me. 
hard enough for you. You know, I be tripping sometimes and I always hit the ground, but see, that's just me falling for you. I get to stand and get lost in your eyes, stomach for the butterflies. It's like a real just touch me, because it's an unreal feeling. I know I could be a pain. That's why I turn on this morning to give you that sexual hill. Every time I leave, I'll be wanting to come right back. I'd be home alone feeling like I got beat up. But then I realized that was just a sucker attack. Things never get awkward to see them crooked. Even when we get when it's quiet, when you hear crickets. It's just our special way of vibing. It's not shyness. Our presence is enough, so we enjoy the comfortable silence. Enjoy the happiness you bring means the world to me. So I ask my own question and tell you what I see. A beautiful phenomenal woman who's been nothing but a blessing. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I love it. Hey, they are, man. He's That's my love it. Yo, girl, after she hear that, man, she gonna do good things for you. Right. <laughs> I hope so, man. I hope so. Y'all want to go with Yeah, you got to go man. I appreciate it, sir. But, uh, I'm in, uh, I guess I'm gonna go to the phone. I'm gonna listen to y'all's shit, so I'm, I'm gonna be tuned in. All right, man. It's a bit. All right, B. <clears throat> wow. He comes in with that delivery every time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gonna be, he gonna have a nice time that night. Uh, oh, man, what's the dude name? Oh, he's bullhorn. That's who he is. <laughs> You're a bullhorn, man. Oh man, off oh, with black dynamite. Yeah, oh, good to be rhyming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah good to be, right? be smooth with it. He would have to be bullhorn. He good? Yeah, I'm good. What's up? Let's get it on. Wow, we got another one. I wasn't expecting. It. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Hello, Hello. you on? Wait, oh, man. Yo, what's going on? Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Baby, Mike, it's my Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow, this man is stupid, man. <laughs> wow. He's on Mike's back every time. Wow. That's wow. Oh my god. How long has he not had it? Oh, oh my god. Man. Y'all don't know. Man, my god. He's all whispering around, man. Yeah. He didn't know. So. Yeah, it took him a minute. Yeah, oh and you god. better watch him basketball and stuff? No, yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm <laughs> getting on the phone, but you got bras on there. No, yet. What's up? Go ahead and spill so we can go ahead and get up out of here. That tweet, man. Yeah, Randy. Mm. Randy. I got you. Oh, All right. Yeah, man, I got some boys today. Uh, this yeah. is going to be killing with the introduction. If you don't mind reading this, uh, when, I, when I read this, canon is from the Bible. That's what that means. Canon is another word for Bible. <clears throat> Voice recorder or the notepad My app's more like entrees I serve y'all, I serve bars Might as well be a waiter Scratch that, I'm impatient, I'm sick of waiting Not quick, not trying to hear it Keep your tips, I'm out the door Tell my boss and all my boys Keep the silverware in the jaw I know homies from the hood That keep silverware in their jaws Shank nigga shaft, that's a circumcision Tradition from straight from the can I ain't trying to listen I guess that's the way of life, but I guess it's no debate. But I'm people where they come from, that mind state, like you in jail. Looking over your shoulder, walking down the street, but it's not a street dog, it's just a cell. Institutionalized, I ain't seen my demise. I ain't trying to live twice, but I'm trying to survive. Not trying to see tears, don't want nobody to cry. Dead tired, but I'm awake, looking straight in my eyes. <laughs> Oh man, he was feeling the same. Hey, man, turn up, man. I, I, yeah, that yeah. flow was hard. Awesome, yeah. He was in that spit, man. He feels like they trying to rush us up out of here, man. Oh, yeah, man. Right, man. All right. You're actually ready for this. Big kills, man. You might as well go. All right, let me go ahead. Late night Let's chats. Do real quick. Late night chats. I know what time it is. It's about to get. Bear with me. Oh my Bear God, man. hurry up. Right, get, get your hands off me. Never. All right. Just came back from Florida and my knees still sandy. Oh. Just chilling in the studio with Trophy Man Randy. <laughs> Who's watching ESPN and making sure his kids are dandy. He's Chef Buffington, whipping all the grub. Just a big tall man changing over like bugs. 
I mean, it's cool, I guess, if you're good at cleaning tubs and making subs and your girl is really in love, but who cares? As long as he can bring hair in a rocket chair, you know, just doing what he can. Behold, Randy, the family man in the family band. <laughs> You know, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be on my back next time. But uh thanks for listening in the area. Hey man, great show, man. We appreciate all the love we got on the phone lines, man. It was a crazy topic, man. We didn't even expect it to shake like this though. So that's a crazy part. We enjoyed the little huge all hand and some new calls. Thanks for listening in Nas. Yeah, uh, everybody else. Oh yeah, man. We had a lot of new listeners today. A lot of callers. I appreciate that. I mean, hey man, this is a big birthday gift for me. You know what I'm saying? My birthday tomorrow. I don't get to celebrate it with y'all on air, but this was a celebration for me, so I appreciate y'all. You already know. Let's go ahead and get this baby. Oh my God. slums. Oh my slums. It's all good though. We gonna catch our next Easy. We out of here, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.